filtration layering and the precedence in Splunk. Splunk deployment, as we said, can have uh, many copies of a configuration files that exist in different apps and the systems as a whole. Configuration files consist, it will have a precedence based on the internal logic. Okay, if you can see here, the configuration file context, okay, for example, for this indexing takes place in the global context. Now what we do, uh, the app or a user a specific content, if you want to see the global is the one, this, this, uh, you know, uh, example uh, indexing takes place in the global content. This is one of the uh, phase where the configuration files consists. Now the app or a user specific content, this may exist with the specific knowledge objects that are available to any specific app or the users, okay, which in these two consists, I mean, uh, generally we also have, uh, you know, precedence and it uh, goes like this, okay, let's talk about the global precedence. Systems local directory, I mean, to, in the global context, this is the precedence of Splunk. Systems local directory, apps local directory, apps default directory, the final one, systems default directory. For the app or the user contents, the precedence goes like this. Other app or a user contest, if you see uh, what's inside the configuration file, all right, there you go, user directories, for the current user app directories that are currently running app the uh, you know local followed by the default app directories for all other apps local followed by the defaults and then goes with system directories local followed by the default now what's inside the configuration file if you see every configuration file consists one or more strangers we all know that stanza is very very important attributes are equal to a value pair Okay, strangers indicates by strangia header in the, you know, uh, secure breaks, okay, um, I mean the symbol that you give uh, writing strangia, all right, you can say it, uh, you know, square brackets uh, that you give generally, right, strangia header identifies setting with the strangia itself. At runtime, Splunk evaluates configuration file like this, all right, let me show you there you go. It gets stanza from all copies of some files. It uses that value of a highest precedence as a as a determined by location. All right. This is how the strangers perform the activities. Now the global context or app context. If you see, you can differentiate it this way. Use a B tool to examine configuration settings. We'll need to initially, uh, you know, which precedence a Splunk usually follows, you know, larger environment, if you see troubleshooting and managed configurations. B2 is used to troubleshoot the configuration file, as we all know, and it, and uh, you see which value, uh, you know, Splunk using. Here is the example, uh, you know, for a, for a demo purpose. Let me show you the example of the B2 command. How do we use this, uh, you know, when it comes to the Splunk troubleshooting. There you go, Splunk home, bin directory, and we use command b tool configuration file and the list. This is how you do it. Thanks for watching.